What's going on guys here, 11 a great day today, and today we are back to talk about a brand new Netflix anime film that has just hit UK cinemas, and that is Goodbye Donglees. Before I get to my thoughts though, I want to hear what you thought of this film if you've seen it, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know. And while you're there, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content, and you want to see plenty more of it in the future, including new reviews of brand new anime movies. So in terms of anime films, I guess for the second half of 2022, this was definitely one of my more anticipated ones because I am a big fan of general coming of age films i always think they're really nice wholesome and just generally good times they can really hit emotionally at times as well and with this film being directed by uh, atsuko ishizuka i believe that's how you pronounce their name who directed a place further than the universe which uh, is a series i've been watching kind of leading up to this releasing i haven't quite finished it yet i've got like three episodes left but i've been really enjoying it so based on the fact it was from the same director that's kind of what got me excited because that's a really good um, story about like a group of high school girls just going on an adventure. It's a really nice coming of age story and I was hoping that's what this was going to be. And it is a nice coming of age story to some degree, but I was definitely let down by it. That's not to say that this is a bad film by any means. I think it's a relatively solid coming of age story. But I guess when you kind of compare it with the director's other work and also the fact that this is sort of directly inspired by Stand By Me, which is one of the greats in terms of coming of age films, that you're going to compare your film to that and say it's directly inspired by it, it creates like a certain expectations and you kind of expect maybe not the exact same quality but you expect something along the same lines and when it doesn't deliver that that's when it ultimately feels a bit underwhelming let's get into the positives though this is an anime film and it feels like an anime film it looks like an anime film basically what i'm trying to say is the animation is top quality especially one sequence that kind of takes place in front of this golden waterfall with a rainbow and um, a telephone box that looked incredible like that you really felt like you were kind of in that location with the surroundings with the sound design and all that kind of stuff that's where i think it was really effective and just generally being in the forestry as well it almost feels very comfortable and um, you kind of feel like you are going on this adventure with these kids and between this group of kids there's also some pretty sweet moments there's kind of something i guess in the middle of the film where they're all sat down around a campfire on a night they've all got soaking wet from going down this little waterfall area and you just get some nice character building between them those are the kind of moments that I really love in these coming of age films where we just take a break from whatever's going on and just kind of build out the characters, build out the relationships. And that was definitely one of my favorite sequences in the film. And I also like that this film doesn't like directly tell you everything. It kind of implies things and allows you to kind of think about what's going on. Specifically when it comes to kind of the new part of our trio in Drop and what's going on with this character, which is never explicitly stated in the film, but you, you kind of know it based on things that are happening. Um, and I don't think it ever needed to directly tell you exactly what's happening with this character. I think it's probably far more effective that it didn't because our other characters didn't and therefore you kind of feel like you're in their position. With all that said though, the happenings of this character of Drop are almost revealed at the very start of the film. Sometimes that can be an effective way of setting things up, other times it's not. And I think in this case, I don't think it was. I think you should have left out that opening scene really because it basically tells you what's going to happen. Um, and I think it would have been far more effective if you didn't know that going in. And whilst the main trio do have some good moments together and are generally a likeable bunch, I didn't quite emotionally connect with them in the same way that I wanted to. A film like this, being a coming of age story, you have to get the characters right. That is where the entire focus is. If you can't deeply connect to them emotionally, none of it's really going to hit in the same way that it's intended to. This is one of those films where I just didn't quite get on board with all the characters. I like the ideas with some of them and I like the struggles that they go through. They're very much the struggles that maybe young kids go through, but also ones I think adults can connect to as well, such as kind of finding your place in the world and realizing that maybe this path that's being set out for you isn't the path that you personally want, or maybe you want to go down a different route. That kind of stuff anyone of any age I think can relate to, but in this film, I don't think they were quite portrayed as effectively as they could, and that might be down to the runtime. This feels like a very short film. It does clock in at only 95 minutes, which a coming of age film doesn't need to be super long, but like I said, with the characters, you, you need to really, you know, kind of get on board with them deeply and emotionally connect with them. And I don't think this film necessarily made the best use of its time in terms of trying to make you get on board with these characters. So for me personally, the major factor in this film that would have made it either a hit or a miss kind of missed for me. But overall, Goodbye Donglees is a solid coming of age story. I had a good time with it, but ultimately I just didn't quite connect with it in the way I wanted it to. Some of the ideas, the themes are excellent on paper and could have been great in execution, 
but I just don't think they were quite executed as well as they could have and probably should have been. As someone who loves the director's previous work and the main source of inspiration for this film, I was ultimately very let down by it, as it was one of the ones I was most anticipating for the rest of the year. But at the end of the day, what it's going to come down to is how well you can connect with the characters. If you can connect with this group of characters, you are probably going to love this film. If you can't, if you can't get on board with everything the film's going for, well then, that's when you're probably not going to enjoy it as much. So with all that in mind, I'm going to give Goodbye Dunglees a C. Before I do get out of here, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming. If you enjoy these anime movie reviews, I like to do plenty on the channel as and when we get brand new anime films. I know next week, we've got the quintessential quintuplets movie releasing, I think on the 7th of December. I'm hoping to go check that out, but I'm working my way through the series at the moment. If I don't get to the end of it before the film comes out, I'm not going to watch it and, you know, ultimately, I'll wait for a Blu-ray release and I'll watch it then. But eventually, you guys will probably get a review of that film. It's most likely going to be next week, but... I'll keep you guys updated. Above all else, though, I want to hear your thoughts on this film, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know. Have you seen the director's other work in a place further than the universe and what are your thoughts on that? Did you have certain expectations going into this film? Were you let down by it? Did you really enjoy it? Just let me know what worked or didn't work for you in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for tuning into Wem Chat today, and I'll see you all in the next video.